Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about motion in a magnet field. That means, if a charged particle is moving in a magnet field, it will experience a force. Due to that force, what is the change in the path of the charged particle? That we will discuss in this video. Okay? So, we have to be discussing the path of the charged particle in the three cases. Okay? So, case 1. Charged particle moves along the direction of magnetic field. Along the direction of magnetic field. That means this is the magnetic field direction. Along the same direction, the charge particle is to be moving. So this is the Q charge particle having a velocity is in this direction. So what is the force acting on this charge particle? If a charged particle is to be moving in a magnet field, it will experience a force. That force F is equal to Q into V cross B. That we can write it as Q V B sin theta. What is theta? Theta is the angle between velocity vector and magnet field vector. Here you see that velocity is in this direction, magnet field is along the same direction. So, theta is here 0 degrees. So, a physical whatever. Q V B sin 0. What is sin 0? Sin 0 is 0. So, this end of M is 0. That means, what about that charged particle? There is no change in the path. No change. No force. No path change. No path change. Okay, so if a charge particle moves along the direction of magnetic field, there is no force acting on it, there is no change in the path. Okay, this is the case one. Okay, next we will see the case two. Charge particle. Charge particle end up perpendicular in a magnetic field. Okay, so if the charge particle is end up perpendicular in a magnetic field, what is the path we see? So this is the magnetic field is acting like this. Magnetic field is acting like this. This is a uniform magnetic field acting perpendicularly into the plane. So in this plane, there is a charge particle. Q is to be under, so you see that magnetic field is acting like this, velocity is like this. So the angle between, you can see that angle between them is 90 degree. Okay, angle between them is 90 degree. So what is the force acting on it? Okay, so F is equal to QVB sine theta, that is the force acting. Here theta is equal to 90 degree. Okay. So, F is equal to QVB. This is the magnitude of the force. Now, we will see what is the direction of force. You see this, the direction of the force is to be found out by right hand rule and Fleming's left hand rule. I am using the right hand rule. What is the right hand rule? You place your right hand in the direction of force vector, that is the velocity and curl towards magnetic field. So, I am getting the force direction is like this okay so 
This is the force direction. This is the force direction. Clear? Okay. Due to this force, it will be try to deviate slightly from its path. Slightly it will try to deviate in from path, and again it will be forces acting like this in this direction, this direction. You see here. Here the velocity is like this. If it will be reaches to here, what is the force acting? Velocity like this, minor field is into it. So you can see that force is acting in this direction. Okay, so now you can see that it will be deviate the path like this and it will move in a circular path. Here you see that the velocity is in like this, force is acting downwards. Here the charge is most like this. So you see this. If the charge particle is moves perpendicular in a magnetic field, the path is changed to a circular path. Okay. So what is the path of the circular path? Circular path. So now we will see what is the radius of the circular path. Okay, what is the radius of the circular path? We'll see. It. This is the radius. Okay. And what is the time period? What is the frequency? Everything we'll see now. Okay. So you see here, if the charge particle is enters perpendicular in a magnetic field, it will move in a circular path. Anything move in a circular path, it needed a centripetal force. That centripetal force is always acting towards the center. Here you see that this magnetic force always acting towards the center. So you can say that this magnetic force is to be converted into centripetal force. So this magnetic force is equal to centripetal force. What is the magnetic force? Magnetic force formula QVP is equal to centripetal force formula. What is the centripetal force formula? Mv square divided by R. What is this R? R is a radius. So from this, you take it to be this R here. So what you get M B square divided by Q B B. B and B cancel. So R is equal to M B divided by Q B. This is the radius of the circle. Radius of the circle. Okay. Then. Next, we will see what is the time period and the frequency. We know a formula that is linear velocity is equal to omega into r. So, from this, what is omega? That is equal to v by r. Okay, where r is a radius. Our formula we already find out that we will substitute it here. So, v divided by m v divided by q v unit. This V and V cancel, this Q B will go to top. So what you get? Omega is equal to Q B divided by M B. Okay. What is omega? Omega is equal to 2 pi mu. Mu is a frequency. So that is equal to Q B divided by M B. So what is frequency? That is Q B divided by 2 pi M B. Okay. This is a Thing. I'm sorry, this V is to be cancelled here. Here, this is to be V and V cancel. So, QB divided by M. So, here also this. So, frequency is equal to QB divided by 2 pi M. What is mean by frequency? Number of revolution per second. That means how much time it is to be moving a circular path in one second. Okay? That is number of revolution per second. Next. We know frequency is equal to 1 by time period. So we can get here the time period T is equal to this inverse that is 
टू पाई एम डिवाइड बाय क्यू बी व्हाट इज मीन बाय टाइम पीरियड टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट वन सर्कुलर रोटेशन ओके दिस इज द टाइम पीरियड फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द रेडियस ओके दिस इज द सेकंड केस नाउ वी विल सी द थर्ड केस Case three. In the case three, charged particle moves in a man field by making an angle theta. So, what will be the path? Theta of the magnetic field. So here the magnetic field is to be acting like this. Like this, the magnetic field is to be acting. Okay. The charge particle is moves like this. This is the charge particle. Q is moves in this direction. It is making an angle theta with the magnetic field. So you see this. So in this case, what is the path? So I am going to split this velocity into two components. One is to be this. This is a perpendicular component, and there is another component that is parallel to this. This is parallel component. You see this. This parallel component is along the direction magnetic, so it will try to move this. charge particle along this linear direction but there will be a perpendicular component will be the this perpendicular component try to make this charge to move in a circular path okay so we will get the effect is to be the combined motion of this circular and linear motion that means we will get the charge particle is moves Like this, that means in a helical path. So, what is the path of the charged particle? Helical path. Helical path. Okay. Then, here we need to find out the radius of the helix. We have to find out. Okay. So, what is the force acting? F is equal to Q V B itself. You already know we got the formulas and for the radius formula we already got previous itself we got it by using that we can directly apply it. Okay, so what is the radius formula? R is equal to we got it as m b divided by q b u bar. So here which component will make the charge move in the circular path? That is a perpendicular component. so we can write like this this is the radius of the helix okay then what is the time period time period means time taken to complete one rotation that is time period t is equal to what is the formula 2 pi m divided by q Okay, is there any change? There is no change in this. All the things are same. Here we have to consider an important term that is p, which is the distance moved along the magnetic field in one rotation. Okay.
okay this is the pitch how we can find out the pitch so here which component will make the charge particle moves in a magnetic field direction so that is the parallel component so the velocity is equal to what distance if the distance i am taken to be the one complete rotation distance then the time will become the time period so pitch is equal to what you get parallel component into time period what is the time period formula that is this formula itself you will apply that is 2 pi m divided by q this is the pitch of the helix okay. thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like